Hi everyone, Michelle from Energy and Balance. Thank you very much for joining us. Today we're going to look at a stone called Septarian. It's also referred to as Dragon Stone or Dragon Egg, depending on the shape that it's in. Now, most of the time, a Dragon Stone is a concretion that's formed into a nodule shape. Now, a concretion is when all of these different bits of stone, different stones all of its own, whether it's agate, quartz, whatever, come together and form their own separate unique stone and it brings together all of these different stones so that you have these one beautiful properties that are brought together this is a septarian this is a nodule of a septarian so you can see the different formations that have come through to it septarians mainly come from Madagascar um, and that's where we're seeing an awful lot of them come out from at the moment now septum from septarium actually means wall or enclosure and that's what it is you've got a wall or an enclosure that has come together to form this new and unique stone the water evaporates over time and hardens all of the different things together uh, sometimes they can be referred to as mud balls or anything like that it's where there's also insect life or sea life that are fossilized within it so they really are make up a uniquely beautiful one. It's got some agate in there. So you've got the properties of agate that have that calming, peaceful, grounding properties that come through. Uh, it's a wonderful one to hold over a long period of time because it really does absorb the negative energy and everything that's going on around you. And then it transmutes that energy so that it gives you the strength to go on and to be and do what you need to do. So it's a very comfort stone to have in your pocket, to hold it, to feel it, to enjoy it. Always remember, septarians love to be in your aura or carried around with you or with you on um, a continuous basis. Another form of septarian is your eggs. See this little guy is shaped into an egg and has crystals on the top? This is another form that you can have and that you will commonly see around. And that's when it's referred to as a dragon's egg or dragonstone. Let's see. Septarian are fantastic speaker's stones. I find so many times if you're a public speaker or a teacher or someone who just has to engage and really get people to understand what they're trying to say. It really is a stone that those people are attracted to and it assists them. It assists them to engage with their audience, allow their audience to understand what they're saying and really bring the purpose of their words through. So when you've got the public speaking, the calming, it really is a very, very grounding, beautiful stone. It also brings through the patience so that in every situation you can take that breath and just be patient through it and more tolerant of everyone that's happening around you it's fantastic for helping to assist with inflammation joints anything like that any types of aches and pains that you have within your body now how to wear it meditating of course of course of course always stones crystals love to use with meditating so get it with you when you're meditating and work with it do a grid do a grid for the purpose of grounding protection and whatever your intent is within that grid you can also use it for public speaking to use it as a hand warmer to have in your pocket um, so that you can bring it out and really have the confidence to say and be what you need to say Put it under your pillow and with the grounding and protection that comes through it is wonderful to assist with a deeper more relaxation sleep now you'll notice with this one that it's not just nighttime daytime one it's one that just carries through all that calming that beautifulness so use it with you if you have one if you own one take it with you all the time really make it a part of you and use it when you need it all right then if you've got any comments about Septarian and would like to share any stories that you have, then please comment below. Otherwise, if you want to have a read through the information that I've got on my website, click through to the link below and it'll take you through so that you can peruse it at your own leisure. 
All right, guys, have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.